Vapor Pressure Workshop Workshop Preparation Connect the power cable to the rear side of the instrument. If you connect to a vehicle battery, a 12-volt power converter is required. Connect the waste container on the left side of the VP Expert. Connect the sample tube. If you want to use a keyboard, attach it to a USB port on the rear side of the instrument. Turn on the analyzer. If necessary, change the display contrast by using the plus minus keys. ASTM D6378 measurement. ASTM D6378 measures the absolute vapor pressure. This method is also used to check instrument calibration. Cooling and air saturation is not required. On a new analyzer, this is the default method. To start the measurement, press Run. To find the sample ID, press Enter to access the virtual keyboard to fill in the ID. Put the tube into the sample. Run the program. The VP Expert automatically starts with rinsing cycles to clean the measuring cell prior to the test. The result will appear directly after the test. Record the absolute vapor pressure. Go into details for additional results. Press Stop to go to the previous menu. Click on Formula to check that the absolute vapor pressure is the total vapor pressure of the sample minus the vapor pressure of the gas. ASTM D5191 Measurement A video on cooling and air saturation is available for ASTM members on the ASTM website. On the VP Expert, select the ASTM D5191 standard through the measurement menu. Select Sample Preparation. If you want to use these settings as the new default method, click on Default. Put the tube into the cooled and air saturated sample. Run the program. Check the results. Note that the result now shows the DVPE, the dry vapor pressure equivalent required by ASTM D5191. Click on Formula to check the ASTM D5191 DVPE correction formula for measurements with sample preparation. DVPE measurement without sample preparation. This method is a D6378 measurement. The result is automatically corrected by an ASTM proven formula to show the D5191 DVPE. Select ASTM D5191 through the measurement menu. Insert the sample ID. Check that the rinsing cycles are set to 3. The measuring temperature is set to 37.8 degrees Celsius. The filling temperature is set to 20 degrees Celsius. And that no sample prep is selected. Put the tube into the sample. Then run the program. The DVPE result will show directly after the test. Select the Detail button and press Enter to view all measured data and correlated values for other measurement standards. Check the formula DVPE equals 1 times P tot minus 1 times P gas minus 1.005 kPa. This is the DVPE correction for measurements without sample preparation. ASTM D6377 Crude Oil Measurement Non-Pressurized Crude Oil 
To reduce equilibrium time for crude oils, a shaker is installed in every unit. For non-pressurized crude oil, select D6377 standard. Enter the sample ID. Put the tube into the sample. Press Run to start a test. Pressurized crude oil. For pressurized crude oil containing volatiles, Grabner Instruments offers a specially designed crude oil package. The package contains a special sample inlet and a pressure regulator to protect the pressure sensor in the VP Expert. The FPC, the Grabner Instruments floating piston cylinder, the FPC is designed for pressures up to 7000 kPa a stainless steel tube for pressures up to 7,000 kPa, a filling tube for pressures up to 2,000 kPa, a filling tube for regular samples, and spare filters for the FPC. To run a measurement on pressurized crude oil, select ASTM D6377 standard. Connect the tubing with the pressure regulator and a front valve of the FPC. Open the front valve of the FPC. Press Run. After the filling temperature has been reached, the instrument valve is opened and allows the sample to flow into the measuring chamber. When rinsing and filling is done, close the valve on the FPC. Before you turn off the VP Expert at the end of the day, rinse the instrument with a cleaning solution mixed with toluene, acetone, and methanol to clean the measuring chamber. ASTM D6897 LPG Measurement On the VP Expert, LPG measurements can be made up to 1000 kPa. Before measurement, the measuring chamber is rinsed with LPG. To discard the gas, attach a polyethylene hose on the outlet side and lead it to a fume hood. Place the cursor on ASTM D6897 and press Enter. Select the sample ID. Connect the pressure regulator with your LPG container. Turn the LPG container upside down. Open the valve of your container. Press Run to start the measurement. After the filling temperature of 5 degrees Celsius has been reached, the instrument valve is opened and the sample flows into the measuring chamber. When rinsing and filling is done, close the valve on your LPG container. VP Expert L Low Volatility Vapor Pressure Tester. The VP Expert L is specified for low volatile compounds up to 100 kPa. This instrument contains the same methods as the VP Expert. Additionally, a direct and an extrapolated method for low volatile compounds are available. To measure the absolute vapor pressure, select a VOC method. If you have tested a different substance before, increase the number of rinsing cycles for additional cleaning. To perform a multi-point measurement, select the temperature points. Next, put the tube into the sample. Then, run the program. The absolute vapor pressure will show directly after the test. Proper rinsing is of utmost importance for low volatility measurements. Start a rinsing cycle for cleaning. Finally, do a rinsing with air. Now the instrument is ready for the next measurement. Measuring options. On the measuring screen, you can change the number of consecutive measurements, rinsing cycles, the measuring and the filling temperature. You may select multi-point measurements and define a certain V over L ratio. For curve measurement, select Curve. Define start and end point, the step width and the heat rate of the measurement. 
The results of the curve measurement are shown in the Curve Results menu. Data Transfer and Printing To download results, connect the USB device to the front USB port. To print results, connect a PCL-compatible printer to the back USB port of the VP Expert. You can use the free MiniWin software to transfer your results data to your limbs. Refilling oil. From time to time, you may need to check the oil level of the automatic piston lubrication through the lighted window. The oil should fill the bottom reservoir of the oiler. If it is less, refill about 0.5 milliliters of the piston oil which was delivered with the instrument. Further information. Please study the manual delivered with the instrument carefully. If you have any additional questions, our local representatives or the Grabner Support Department will be happy to help you. Small instruments, great results. Grabner Instruments.